Hi, Virgos. Welcome back to my channel here at Bobby's Girl Growth 444. Uh, happy Tuesday to you all. I think today is September 13th, 2022. So I got a message for you, Virgos, here. Now, this isn't going to be everyone's message, but it's a little bit disturbing. So take it as it resonates and leave the rest. Do not force these messages to fit, okay? This is not going to be every Virgo out there's message. So I have a lot of you that I'm reading for, okay? It's very disturbing. Somebody is like paranoid. Information's coming out. You could be in hiding. Let's get into the channeled messages that I got. Okay, I heard the song, Very Superstitious, that Stevie Wonder song. I'm like, why is somebody superstitious with these writings on the wall? So somebody may have found some writing on the wall. Maybe this was like a call for help or something. Uh, someone feels also like they're being hunted or haunted or being watched. Like they're afraid to leave their house. And if they do leave, they hurry up and, and come back in and lock the door really quick. They're like, they feel like somebody may be watching them in their windows. It's like uh, bad luck around this person or there's, or they're worried that bad luck, like after seven to 10 years of bad luck is coming for this person like broken mirrors over here. Somebody could be suffering or they're worried, uh, you know, about suffering from this. Yeah, they're, uh, the paranoia is setting in. Somebody's like a, in like a, either a lunatic or like a, a lunacy state. It's like somebody was throwing rocks and then trying to hide hands and now they're scared. Something didn't go the way that they thought that it was going to go. Or you didn't. I don't know, Virgo. You reverse the roles and switch it around where it applies to you, okay? Uh, I heard the name Steve, Stevie. So there was just a Steve, uh, well, Stevie Wonder, but um, Steve and Stevie. Steven. I can hear somebody yelling that name, Steven. Stefan, Steven. I don't know. And then uh, I, I saw like uh, either something in the West or something like somebody watching Westerns. And then I saw those long coats, you know, how they used to wear in um, when they do the showdowns in the old Western movies. Right. So I was like, long coats. What is long coats? So I'm looking that up and it's a there's a private eye or some type of detective that's looking into this. OK, either you're a private detective or somebody else is. And they usually look into the long coats, look into missing people cases. So is somebody missing? Is there a kidnapping or is there a possible kidnapping here? Or is someone trying to set someone up to be kidnapped? Or was that uh, yeah, like a premeditated plan here? I don't know. Hmm. So I asked about this person. This person is, is has a fear of rejection. So whatever this person did, Virgo, either to you or you did this to them, it didn't go as they planned. They didn't want to be rejected. That was their fear. That was the whole um, subject of, or object of their uh, affliction. Affliction? Person's afflicted. That was the main subject here the main objective was to keep from being rejected this person tells a lot of stories possibly about sex <sighs> kidnapping and sex and missing people beard facial hair so this person could be a male they don't have to be but somebody could have a beard or some type of facial hair here also like they could be a banker they could be into real estate they could work at a gas station they could they they deal with money somehow. They're like the the uh, um, main handler of finances. Okay, this could be like somebody in your family. Okay, friend group that uh, friend group. Maybe it is in your friend group. I don't know, but they handle the money. They the the breadwinner. Yeah, I'm really thinking this is like a father or father figure. I mean, it could be a grandfather, it could be an uncle, but. Uh, this is somebody that pays their employees. They've got, they got employees or they give out the funds. They, they, um, people work underneath this person. Okay. And it definitely could be like a family business here. 
somebody that's lazy, that takes gambles a lot, uh, you know, could uh, go to casinos, they could own a casino, I don't know, they're a risk taker, they like home cooked meals, they, I, I feel like that is more like, because this person is scared to leave the house, so they've been, you know, if they do go out, or they have somebody go out for them, bring them food at home, and they cook their meals, because they're afraid to leave the house, they've got this fetish to where they're like, they can't stop what they're doing. This is a lunatic, and there's light now being shed on the subject. All right, I'm going to get into this reading and see what else uh, is going on with this person. First of all, I'm, I'm trying to do something new with my readings, guys. Um, yeah, this energy is like uh, very disturbing here. All right, um, so I'm doing the karmic laws with each one of the signs now. And uh, Virgo, you got karmic law number four, okay? So under karma, law number four is uh, the law of growth. Real growth, real change, or personal growth begins with what you have control over, which is yourself, not others. So is this somebody that was trying to have control over other people because they were afraid of rejection, didn't want to be rejected, or somebody got rejected? And how to deal with accepting what you can't control. So this person has a problem um, with it, learning how to accept things as they are. And, and also the fates, you know, it is what it is. It's a fated event here. You can't change fate, can't change destiny, right? You Well, you choose your fate, really. But that's not your destined path. I think this that's what this person did. They chose their fate. But it's out of their control. They can't accept it. Things got out of control. Didn't go someone's way. The focus uh, should be on yourself and not other people or things around you. So that's the, the karmic law of growth. Uh, and what this person needs to learn and, and what needs to um, accept here and their challenge is to overcome this, okay? To not be able to control a situation or control other people. Or you. I don't know. All right. Let's get into it, Virgo. Let's see what you need to know about this individual. So I got to get out of this energy very quickly, okay? Cowboy up. I don't know what that means, but cowboy up. Value. Somebody, yeah, all in the money here. What is this value? Having patience in the community. So being valued in the community. Planting seeds of value in the community to see, like to be seen, to be seen as valuable. Definitely three people here involved. Could, uh, you know, uh, this could be like a mixed community too. I don't know. I mean, like they could be, uh, I see three women here, but they could definitely be three men. The three musketeers. So whatever that means. Maybe somebody likes to eat three musketeers. All right. So somebody waiting. They planted this seed to value. And, uh, you know, the community is, is, seen, is seeing growth from this seed. That's a message for someone, too. What is this? Heart about love and romance yeah destiny all right so and growth movement forward and foundations all right so this is about loving words of the heart opening their heart to a partnership or a relationship a friendship red white and blues Something with pastel colors, too. Somebody could like wearing a lot of pastels. Or something happened in the springtime. A lot of spring. Yeah, something what happened in the springtime that like uh, started all this. It's like been a downward, uh, a downward spi a spiral since the springtime. Something with the eye and seeing, all seeing eye. 
everybody's seeing this in the community, these the all seeing eye, or all has seen what they need to see about this connection. Doing what you love when it comes to partnerships and relationships, third parties in the community. I need a little bit more here. All right, so somebody could be 31. Somebody could be July 14th here. Somebody could be 38. June 10th or uh, June 7th and, and June 14th, any of those days. Uh, October 14th, October 6th. All right. Man in the mirror. That's why I'm making magic over here. This is shattered mirrors here. Haunted and hunted and being watched. What is he wearing? Amulet? Something with this amulet. Could be a man of faith. That bearded man here. Somebody could have long hair. Cold and ice. Cold and ice. Fire and ice. Like fire and ice. What what kind of song is that? Like fire and ice. I, I know I've heard that. Or that phrase like fire and ice. Um, fire and ice lyrics. Pat Benatar sings that. Somebody's name Pat, Patricia, Patrick. Uh, playing with fire. You forget I've seen you work before. Take him straight to the top. Leave him crying for more. I've seen you burn him before. You come on like a flame. Then you turn a cold shoulder. This is somebody that you know maybe turned somebody on and then turned a cold shoulder here. Taking a little piece of their heart just to tear it apart. So this this community could have done this, or you could have done this to the community. Uh, got burnt, or saw somebody got burnt. Somebody in the community, uh, community. Somebody in the community could have saw somebody with this all-seeing eye get burnt. You know that this fire and ice here, playing with fire, trying to burn somebody. Because it's just an illusion in the pa in this passion play. The passion, the storyteller over here. Fear of being rejected, so telling these stories so they don't get burned. Putting an illusion around this passions uh, of romance or partnership or a friendship or friends are involved. Okay. You come on like a flame, then you turn on like a cold. I say. You think you got it all figured out. You're an expert in the field without a doubt. But I know your methods inside out, and I won't be taken in by fire and ice. So whatever that means for y'alls. Okay. So you think you know this person, or they think that they know you because they're watching you work, or you're watching this person work. Power play moves. So somebody's making power play moves here. Using this magician in the mirror. All right. Could be a Leo. This Leo's been coming out a lot lately, okay? I don't know what's going on, Leo. What happened in Leo season? It could be that too. Truth. Clarity. Intuition. Using your intuition here. Being wise. Clear thinking. Somebody needs to go within to gain some type of truth here. Oh, this private eye, this detective here. Somebody's somebody's solving a case or somebody's trying to solve a case. And they're using their intuition to gain the truth and clarity. They also could be uh, making power moves here. <sighs> Maybe they're watching tarot. I don't know, guys. 
I just got a notification. That's possible too. Interesting. Okay, keep going. Keep going, Virgo. Let's see what we can get here. This is uh, interesting. Ooh. The universe is on your side, Virgo. This is also, you know, God taking control. Somebody thought that they had control or was trying to gain control of a situation, but it looks like the universe is in control. What goes around comes around. Universal interference, I heard. So the universe had to step in to take over this situation because it got out of hand. <sighs> universe is on your side. Spiritual union. Time to rest and rejuvenate. Somebody feeling bored and discontent. Somebody's also feeling like they can't leave their house because of their reputation. They're paranoid. They know that they're being watched, or they feel like they have that paranoia sense of, of they're being watched, watching their movements, you know, making a, um, indis, dis, indiscreet, something's indiscreet over here. Their choices, they're, they're making slow movements and decision. It's like they're waiting for this power move over here. They're waiting to see what you do, Virgo. Or they're, uh, you're waiting to see what this person does before somebody decides to make a move. It's like, what are they going to do next? That way I know which power play to, to play next. This person's trapped in fear. I'm going to give you 28. Okay, around this love. Or around something that they love. Someone that they love. We got another man. We got a man, another man. Okay, I got three women and two men out here. So they could be up to five people. There could be two women and three men or three women and two men. Okay. So there's some competition around here, mental conflict around this love. This giving of someone's heart, taking the piece of their heart. I want to give you my love, but you'll just take a little piece of my heart. Somebody who's got a fear of rejection around here. They're watching you. Or you're watching them. I don't know. Ugh. This mental conflict could be just the paranoia, the lunacy here, the superstitions. Or somebody is very superstitious. They're Maybe they're afraid of you. Uh, Virgo, or you're afraid of this person. But it's like a lot of being in your head. Someone's also hallucinating. So whatever's causing this person to hallucinate, I don't know if they're picking up different energies in the community here, um, you know, sexual energies off other people. Um, and that may be confusing. Or if they're partying a lot in the community or celebrating a lot. And that's keeping this person confused and conflicted. They're watching their movements. They're watching their choices and their decisions. So they can make a power play with this love. Somebody's being very strategic over here. They want to give somebody their heart. But they're afraid of rejection. So they're trying to find ways around the turn of the Mac. Somebody's returning. Somebody's name could be Mac. So they could drive a Mac truck over here and be a truck driver. Okay. Um, so they're trying to figure out what power play they can make because they feel like you right here. Uh, I know your methods inside and out. You're an expert in the field without a doubt. So you think you got it all figured out. This person is trying to figure you out. How they can get around. Um, maybe they're trying to surprise you. I don't know. Somebody in their ego. They got some other things going on in the background, though, especially in this community. Somebody may be going against them in the community. This magician over here. I mean, it could be a Gemini. It could be a Leo. It could be a, a water sign, a Pisces, Cancer, Scorpio here. Somebody's working against this person. They're scared. They feel like they got bad luck. Maybe they don't want to bring you bad luck. 
There we go. Let me get a couple more. There's light being shed on this subject, though, or this situation. Somebody could be missing right now. Three, peep, three or more people could be involved in this. Somebody could be going to jail or they're stuck in a mental prison. If this person's not in jail or an actual prison, this man holding the heart here, then he's just stuck in his head about how to give this love. Someone in the community may be going to jail because of this. Some type of blockage. Some kind of type of movement choice or decision. All right, keep going. Somebody's lost their money. Okay. Somebody's worried about finances. Yeah, all they have to offer is you know, they, they're trying to get creative in order to get some type of stability and finances here. They want to offer some type of love to you. They're worried about these fear of rejections. They're trying to make power moves in order to get through this mental conflict because they feel like they can't get one over on you, Virgo, or you can't on them. Okay? Uh, appreciation. Somebody wants to show that they're appreciate, or you're someone that's appreciated. Okay? Choose wisely. Make your choices wisely at this time. Use your intuition because the universe is on your side. Stand in your truth, okay, or be your true authentic self. Somebody needs to balance out their solar plexus chakra. All right. Archangel Michael is here looking over this. Someone has lost a lot of money by gambling and telling stories, keeping someone stuck in their head, keeping someone in a paranoia state or, um, you know, feeling superstitious or feeling like they're going to get bad luck or worried or a, um, feeling like they're going to suffer. They're going to be rejected. I got all these different messages coming out, guys. It's going to be, uh, you just place it where it fits for you. Uh, love. Storm. You can't, you hit me like a hurricane. So maybe, uh, I don't even know if it's not even hurricane seasons. Maybe you live in a place where normally they would have hurricanes. Islands, something with the islands. Somebody could have recently traveled to the islands. Rhode Island, something with Rhode Island. Yeah, balancing here, okay. Like the other half. Somebody wants to balance out, feel like they're your other half. There's a lot of choices, opportunities. So you have a lot of choices here. Somebody want like this. This is like shocking, like. Uh, they want to bring you love and they're trying to get creative because they don't have finances. They've lost their finances because they took these gambles. So they're trying, this is like a surprise too. This could be a Scorpio, could be an Aries. Um, choosing choices, many options. Either someone had options in the past. You have options here. Both of you have options. I don't know. Somebody's dating in the community here or partying a lot in the community or someone wants to meet you out in the community. You know, like uh, some type of meeting too. Somebody meeting up. The waiting game. Somebody's just waiting to make a move. And they're studying you. Or you're studying them. I don't know. September 2nd could be significant. It might be 24. 222. Two, two. If you've been seeing 222, two, two, maybe this message is for you. I got a lot of twos out here. Strata, yeah, they're being strategic as to how they do this, but they don't have money or they lost their money by gambling it all away by telling these stories about some love or romance here or somebody in the community. Somebody saying, uh, somebody said someone was easy in the community, or somebody had a lot of options in the community. Maybe they were making money off of this. But they've lost their money. Like, uh, light's being shed on this subject over here, or this situation. 
their fetishes that they were having, these fantasies. Somebody could, oh, this could be a secret admirer that's having fantasies about you. Temptation. Ha! Yeah, I want to keep you stuck. Okay. Because uh, around your finances, somebody wants to keep you stuck around your finances. That's why they don't want you to gain finan uh, financial stability. They want you to feel conflicted and defeated. They don't want you to use your intuition. They want you to stay stuck in the past and go through obstacles and challenges. But love is coming in, guys. Somebody's got a lot of desire. Somebody's obsessed with you. <clears throat> it could be this PI detective. Uh, someone's writing everything down to you. So they're watching you to get clues so they know when to make their next move. These power plays. Maybe I should write that down. Power plays. It is what it is. Virgo. Opportunity or windfalls coming in. Or this is someone that this or this is something that this person was trying to block this opportunity or windfall from coming in. Being very strategic here. All right. Heartache oh, uh, over what you no longer have. So you're coming out of heartache, what you no longer have. Virgo. So if it has to do with finances, stability, love, whatever that is for you, okay? Um, right, personal sorrow. So somebody could be in sorrow right now or somebody just uh, tearful. Uh, it could be because they're getting bad luck or they're worried here. They've suffered this money loss too, this financial value. Something they held of value, whether that's time, money, energy, love, whatever that resource is, whatever that is for them, okay? All right, problems to be resolved, but it want to come in reverse. So, so this problem is has been resolved or is being resolved now. Okay. Um, lonely teardrops. The letter E. I keep seeing the letter E now. The letter L, the letter E. Announcement is being made from a fair woman, dealings or relationships with a woman with blonde, gray, or white hair. You could be this woman or you could be dealing with this woman. Good luck on your side, okay? December. Something could have happened in December. Could be dealing with a um, Sagittarius here or an Aquarius or somebody on that cusp. Okay, let's see. That could have been that rejection as to why this person feels sorrowful, uh, sorrowful, um, suffering heartache and loss, fear um, that they were rejected here. So they took some type of gamble on an opportunity or a windfall, but um, it became a problem. It became a burden. So now things are, be, you know, because of this gamble over these fetishes and uh, this storytelling, whoever this was, man or woman, okay? Because of this, it caused them more trouble than what it actually um, was thought out to be because somebody thought that things were going to go their way and they didn't go their way. Now there's being this announcement that's uh, being shed to light here. Something's coming out. All right. January. A liar. Somebody told lies in this community. The storyteller. Pinocchio. Their nose grows. Every time they lie, they could have a longer nose. I don't know. So yeah, Sagittarius, Aquarius cusp, possibly an Aquarius or a Pisces cusp. Um, all right. Lie, lie, pants on fire. Got your nose stuck in the telephone wire. Yeah, they do. Maybe they do with the community. Maybe that's what they were doing. Like they had somebody on three-way calling here and just spreading it around town. Bringing it around town. Bringing it around town. 
plenty of material things. So you got plenty of material things here. You got a good uh, harvest. You're getting ready to collect if you have not yet, Virgo, okay? This person could be worried because you have material things. Okay, somebody's taking a short journey. We got May. Uh, Taurus and Gemini energy. This person could be taking a short journey, whether that is uh, in a mental prison or um, they could be going to a mental institution. They could be going to jail. They just could be stuck mentally uh, in their head here. Could be suffering lunacy. They could be actually in prison or going to jail or going to prison. Take it as it resonates. Or someone took a short journey that didn't last very long, okay? This gamble here. These lies. Feel like a woman. All right, time to act. Leo. Leo the lion. Somebody's roaring now. Shrewdness and resourcefulness, especially in your business. So this person's messing with your business. So if you have a business or you're an entrepreneur here, Vir Virgo, uh, any of these signs here, or you're messing with somebody else, there's uh, some copying over here doing these uh, with the ink blot, somebody writing things down like they're they're watching you and uh, you think you know this person. They think that they know you. So they're trying to make power plays to what your next move is. Secret admirer or copycat energy. Definitely a liar, compulsive liar. You should uh, accept valid criticism. So saying uh, obsessed, yeah. Saying, uh, accept valid criticism. You'll be taken care of in difficult times. So you are being taken care of at this time. A fair woman and a fair man. Dealings or relationship with a man with blonde, gray, or white hair. That could be that person that's got um, the beard or facial hair. A woman could be. I don't know. Could be a couple, married couple. I don't know. <sighs> Let's uh, get you some more information. I got to get out of this energy, guys. This is too much. It's a heavy read here. So what I'm trying to figure out is who is missing. What is this private detective looking into? Is it theft of like finances? Is this like robbing people in the community? Is somebody actually missing? Or there's still something missing. People's court. Something with the people's court. Does somebody watch that show, People's Court? Or is somebody getting ready to go to court? Or is there a court case that's open? Or is a court case about ready to open on this? Okay, let's see. Virgo, what do they need to know? Maybe I should write that down too. <laughs> this court case, somebody's worried about their security. Because they've lost it all or they're losing it all because of these lies that they've spread and told. Okay, uh, power. Yeah, losing their power, losing their crap. All right, the ability to suck it up is not a superpower. Saying no is, this, is your own superpower. This person can't say no. They're always saying yes. Let's do it. Yes, yes. Kindness in reverse. This person's not very kind. They're very mean-natured. Or these people, individuals, what if being kind to yourself really could change everything? They don't love themselves, so how can they love anybody else? They may tell you that they love you, but they don't. Because they don't see love within themselves. They don't see the value within themselves. They see your value, but they only see your value in dollar signs. And they couldn't say no to taking this gamble, taking this risk. It was one of those uh, get-rich-quick schemes. They got caught up in it, or you did. I don't. Somebody got caught up in uh, something. You know, they something that wasn't good for them here. <sighs> Thought they were gonna get what you had, Virgo. Uh, shine, your shine. Don't dim your light. The world needs your unique talents and gifts. So shine brightly here. So keep on shining. Keep on being happy person wants you to be mean to yourself they don't want you to love yourself they don't want you to say no they want you to say yes all the time they want you to make bad decisions here and you make good decisions and they don't like that 
because they don't see that within themselves. They can't see themselves as a person that makes good decision, makes wise choices, uh, you know, um, is decisive with their movements and their decisions. Okay. Virgo. Success. Okay, yeah. So they just want to be successful. Today, or maybe you are successful, Virgo. Today is a really good day. You're in the flow. Problems are solved quickly and easily. Um, helpful people show up for you and unexpected gifts fall into your lap. So you may be getting some type of gift or you feel maybe you have gifts here to show the world. And it's saying, show your gifts to the world. Be your true authentic self here. Do what makes you happy, what you feel passionate about. Love yourself. Don't let these power moves, don't let these individuals affect you. You know, don't let them disrupt your peace or your happiness. All right, we got elevate. Yeah, it's time to elevate. You know your worth, Virgo. You get what you believe you deserve. It's time to raise your standards. So yeah, this, per this person, people, individuals here have no standards. They have no values. They uh, they definitely do not um, engage in their own belief systems um, effectively. They have no integrity and they have no respect for themselves. They want you to not have those. And they're mad because you do. Well, I'd be darned. Darned if you do and you darned if you don't. Virgo. What does Virgo need to know? Purpose. You know what you're here to do. And that's to love. Commit to the practice of seeing the good in all things. They want you, this person or people want you to be in grief. They want you to be sad. They want you to have losses because they're losing. Why? Because they took these risks, these gambles here. They said yes to something or, or more than one thing. I don't know what it is here, okay? Something money related. And they should have had boundaries up. This person had no boundaries. You appreciate it going through their grief process. Okay, this person may be going through a grief process now, whatever they have lost. If they were worried too much about finances, if that's what they held near and dear to their heart, and they are worried about having that lack mentality, like they're not going to have enough, so they were trying to take it from someone or a community here then yeah, they're in grief because now they're losing everything or they're about to lose everything. Bad luck. Um, or worried that they're going to suffer financially. All right. Relationships. There could be a relationship um, involved here. Could a man and a woman, it could be a couple, it could be a married couple, it like, um, could be brother, sister, it could be two sisters, two brothers. Could be two mothers, could be two fathers, could be anything. Whoever these people are to you, it could be you and somebody else working together. Attracted those people that serve my higher good, okay? So you are attracted to people that serve your higher good. These individuals are not. Focusing more on love. No, they grieve in their relationships. Or they're grieving the loss of this loving, loving relationship here. You take it as it resonates for you. Growth. I want to expand my consciousness and awareness. What was the law that we pulled for you in the beginning? The law of growth. I can't make it up. Read up karmic law number four. Real growth, real change, or personal growth begins with what you have control over, which is yourself, not other people, and how to deal with accepting what you can't control and this, and this fate. The focus should be on yourself, not other people or things around you. So this person or these people were too focused on reputation, what people thought of them, not focused on what you was doing. And now they're losing everything when they should have just been focused on themselves. Making themselves happy, loving themselves, focusing on their own purpose, their own relationships. But no, they were too focused on holding you back and not growing and they couldn't grow or they haven't grown or they're not going to be able to grow now. 
the person or people wanted to have you stuck and they got themselves stuck. So where did it get them? You play stupid games, you win stupid prizes. Isn't that what they say? It's like that claw machine. You go in and you try and grab those little animals out of the machine, right? And, you know, sometimes you might put um, 10 or $20 in there before you actually get an animal out, right? But what do you actually get? A stuffed animal that you could have went and bought at Walmart for 4 or $5. You done spent in the machine 20, $10, $20, right? What was the value of that? I don't know. Okay. What was the purpose? Sure, it's fun. Or somebody thought it was funny. But if you really thought about it, you could have went to Walmart or tar Target and you probably could have spent only a couple dollars rather than putting all that money into a machine and may or may not get the prize that you want when you could have picked it out, the prize that you want at the store. So, okay. You really sit and think about it. Why well, it's good to be able to have a mind. I am thankful for that, that I have my mind. Okay, good intuition, right? It was their fault, but they blamed you. So somebody saying that it's their, their fault, they blamed you, whether they took responsibility for that, that they would have to change and accept responsibility, okay? Virgo, and this person saying that they love you, or you are saying this to this person, and they know they was a distraction from your pain. So there was pain here and uh, a lot of pro projection here and deflection. Okay. You and I were too young. So this person is saying that you, you know, I needed to grow up a little bit. This growth here was required. There was some immaturities on one or both parties. Or there was a difference in age. Okay, guys. Sometimes they stay awake and think about you. Well, maybe they are staying awake because their parent, the paranoia is sitting in over here. Timing just wasn't right for us, okay? And they wish things could be different. They're starting to understand your connection and they need to heal. My eyes are watering because my allergies are acting up. I told you that the last couple of days. So it's just, uh, this weather's changing. It's been raining and then it got warm. And they want to tell you how they really feel. <laughs> Um, and their life isn't all together as it seems. Well, we know this because they've got their self caught up in a, a hot mess over here. They're hot flooded. As I, I, that's what I used to say when I was little. That song, Hot Blooded. Maybe they are. I don't know. Maybe their blood is boiling or something over here. But um, hot flooded. Yeah. As a little girl, I used to say, I would bounce in my crib. And I'm hot flooded. I'm hot flooded. Yeah. Uh, okay. What does Virgo need to know? What advice do you have for Virgos? It's a time for healing. We've got Virgo, there you are. Time to give rather than take. Emotions are running high. What do you need to release at this time? Release, release control. That's the number one thing, I think, okay? Um, and also the need to be right. Someone needs to release that. And also their fear of rejection. Okay. Where is that rejection coming from? Why do you feel like you're not enough? The only reason you would feel rejected is if you felt like you weren't enough. For this relationship, for this partnership, for this community. <clears throat> Luck is on your side, Sagittarius. Leo, confidence is your key to success. Being confident in yourself. You can do it. You can do this inner work. Don't let anybody tell you that you can't. All right, and we got Gemini. The answers you need are coming. A new start is coming. The answers and a new start. Yeehaw. Okay, <laughs> back to them cowboys over here. Cowboy, baby. 
Yeah, okay. Maybe Kid Rock. Something kick rocks and Kid Rock and Rockwell. Rock throwing rocks. There's something about rock. Something rocking over here. So we listen to rock music. It's time to take action, Aries. Okay. And your hard work is paying off Capricorn. So Whew. all right. Let's get a, some advice here from the Romance Angel cards. What advice do you have for this new start? For love. Not all these messages that come out are sunshine and rainbows, guys, okay? But it's what you're meant to hear. It's what you need to hear, not what you want to hear. To recapture romance, allow your inner youthful spirit of fun to shine. So they're saying to be playful. All right, and we got wedding on the table, so there definitely could be uh, a marriage involved here. You could be married to this person. They could be married. Possibly third party is involved here. Um, also having a heart-to-heart -heart conversation, but not somebody's not wanting to have a heart-to-heart -heart conversation at this time. It's being blocked, or someone's trying to block that from a, a conversation happening here. So we got very soon, clearly decide what you want so that it comes to you now. And we've got, it's time to retreat. It's time to disconnect from the world, all right? Let's see. Passion. Allow your heart and soul to sing with joy. So there is a lot of passion here in this connection. Someone's feeling very obsessed and sexually obsessed. It just is what it is. Finances and career are, um, financial issues are affecting your love life right now, okay? Romantic feelings. Yes, there are romantic feelings here. They're real and worth exploring. And there's a lot of chemistry. There's a strong magnetic attraction. Can't make it up. You're calling in your soulmate or this person's calling you in, okay? Or somebody new is coming in and they're calling you in. They're your soulmate. So be playful. Be open to it. Be open to having a conversation. If you went through this already, don't close yourself off. Don't close your heart chakra off, okay? Be open to talk and, uh, you know, um, being lighthearted and uh, getting to know each other here, okay? So that's the message I have for you, Virgo. If it resonated, please like, comment, share, subscribe. I do appreciate your love and support for my channel. And hopefully this message got who, to who it needed to get to to hear. Okay. So um, have a wonderful day, Virgo. Happy Tuesday. Bye-bye.